hundreds of documents with the most personal information, like social security numbers, found by a man in the parking lot at the Palisades Mall. The papers were just flying around for anyone to take. So who dumped them, and was anyone's identity ripped off? Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is in West Nyack tonight with an Eyewitness News exclusive. Marcus. Well, Liz, those documents were job applications for a store in the mall called Metro Park. Now, the company today would not tell us its policy for for discarding such documents, but presumably it is not to just simply toss them in the trash, or in this case, near the trash. They didn't shred any of this. This is insane. Jenna Zaccaro's initial reaction was surprise, followed by anger after seeing this old job application with critical personal information. It was found outside the Palisades Mall, not in a dumpster, but blowing in the wind. And not just hers, hundreds of others as well. I mean, you hear horror stories all the time about people having their identity stolen. It's really, really upsetting to me. The documents were gathered up Sunday night by a retired narcotics and vice cop who, because of the nature of his undercover work, doesn't want to be identified. And it's because of that law enforcement background he says he was this troubled by what he found. Yeah. Just the carelessness and the callousness of just throwing that stuff out like that, like it's nothing, like it's garbage, and it's certainly not garbage. The applications are for a clothing store named Metro Park, a Los Angeles-based chain. The paperwork asks for the applicant's social security number, past employment history, and detailed contact information. On many, a second form asks for birth date, even driver's license number. Most of the applicants are in their late teens or early 20s. A credit expert says young people are even more at risk of identity theft. They still may be bouncing from their address in college, and now they moved back home, and so some of the bills that they may be getting for accounts that they really didn't open, still could go to an old address that they won't see till later. Metro Park had no comment other than to say the matter is under investigation, something that doesn't sit right with those who had hoped to one day work for the retailer. For all my information to just be there, and especially the way things are now, people get desperate, and they won't care about anybody else. Well, he is right. Our personal, the personal credit expert we spoke to says that one in eight people will be the victims at some point of some kind of fraud, and that is why she suggests that everyone check their credit reports twice a year, regardless of your age. And we're live in West Nyack, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.